This video is to help you understand a bit more about these little green triangles which sometimes appear in Excel cells. We've got four triangles to explain, four if you like errors or notifications of errors. First of all, the first one in cell F3. First of all, the spreadsheet itself, a really simple spreadsheet which is looking at quantities, prices for Jan and Feb and working out the sales amount for Jan and Feb. Let's first of all look at cell F3. You can see the small green triangle in the, in the top left hand corner and the actual error is given to you in the yellow diamond and it says here the cell contains a formula and it's not locked. So basically, whereas every cell in Excel by default is locked so that when you put on a password, courtesy of the review protect sheet tab, each cell will become locked. Now, this particular cell which contains a formula is not locked. So if I were to put a password for the whole worksheet, this cell is in danger of being deleted with its content and its formula. And so we might be able to just lock it and that will be done via lock cell. So that's example number one. Example number two, here we have in cell G5, a formula. Now, what it's doing is, it's multiplying D5 the quantity by E4. And it should of course be multiplying D5 by E5. So if you look again, if you look at the little yellow diamond, the formula differs from the formulas in column G. And we could correct that by simply saying, copy formula from above, and it gives you the message that this is indeed an inconsistent formula. Number three, here we have a value. Now, sometimes these are a bit confusing, so let's have a look in a bit more detail. The formula is a simple sum formula. We could, of course, just do equal A8 times E8 and get the same error. The problem there is that we're multiplying a word in A8 by a good value, the unit price. We should, of course, be multiplying the quantity as we are in the cell above. So again, the little yellow diamond simply says an error in the value. And to help to understand where the error is coming from, some people use the calculation steps and step through the formula bit by bit and then correct the error. The fourth example is quite different. Here we don't really have an error, more of a notification. And I've used here an apostrophe to convert what would be a number cell into a text cell. And again, the yellow diamond says this number in the cell is formatted as text because it's been preceded by an apostrophe. So there we have it. Various examples, I'm sure there are more, of those little green triangles. We hope it helps you understand them a little more. 